Hey, what's up everyone? How you all doing today? Welcome to episode 2 of our Let's Play series on Adeptus Mechanicus. Uh, at the end of episode 1, we finished the first mission, gave you a bit of an overview of the game. Um, we got ourselves our first bit of Blackstones, we can see up top right here. So we're going to get straight into it, start upgrading our guys, and get into the next mission. So, go across to our cohort screen. Got our two guys here, Manarius and Jeremiah. And what we're going to do is we're going to give them their first upgrade. So they've both got the blast pistol and the power axe. But that's all we got. So all these slots can be upgraded. We've got chest, legs, head, arms. That's all for armor. Then we've got extra little widgets we can stick on in different places. And also we've got another gun slot as well. So these are all the different trees, all the different tech trees. Um, these first six are from the standard edition of the game. Xenorite on the right hand side here. That's where um that's where the new stuff for the Heretic DLC. So first upgrade we did in this chat was to get our cog point at the beginning here. So rather than go for another upgrade, we're gonna get a piece of armor here to try and improve our HP and maybe get some shielding. So we've got chest piece here which is gonna give us four HP legs which is going to give us 2 HP to movement, got some physical and energy armor from the helmet and some HP and dodge chance on the gloves. I think we're going to go straight for the chest piece, try and get the extra HP points on the go. As you can see here we've got these augment slots, all three of them are green at the moment, shows are all taken. If we unplug that bit of armor you can see that's now grey, so that lets you know when you've got a, a free slot to use. Uh, we're going to do exactly the same with the next guy. We're not going to give him another one of these upgrades. We're going to get straight in there, try and get some armor. So again, chest piece, 4 HP, 1 physical, 2 HP, 2 movement, 2 energy armor, HP and critical chance. I'm going to go for the chest piece again. And as you notice, they had different stats, and they actually got a visual change. So depending on what tree you get your armor from, it all looks a little bit different. So. By the time you're a good few missions in, you've got some more tech priests on the go. They can all look totally different with, with their get up. At the moment, he looks rather boring. But later on, that will that'll look different when he's got all sorts of upgrades. So, let's get into the missions. Have a look at what we've got. We've got an easy one here that's going to give us uh, increased cog gauge, which should be quite handy. And a little scanner. This one here is going to give us... A little stabby thing, a stabby melee attack jabber. A crochet claw, which gives you some healing. Now, they both say they're easy. This one's easy. We've got three different types of enemies. This one's only got one. I think we're going to play the safe card. Do the easy one here. Yeah, let's get them all in there. I believe we unlocked another canticle at the end of that first mission. There we go. So we can put that on now. So we've now got two. Store 5 HP, next physical attack, get free physical damage. So we've got our two tech priests in, we've used the rest of the slots up with our cannon fodder servitors. We've got our canticles on, let's go deploy. Now, I'm not going to bore you by reading out all of these menus. I'm going to leave them up for a little while so you can read them if you want. But I'm pretty sure you're not all going to want to hear me just waffling on all this nonsense. It's the sort of stuff that this is really cool for the law. If you're really into your, your Warhammer or your Admech particularly, this is really great law based stuff. If you just want to get up and play the game, you don't really need to read it. It's not really giving you any any tips or tricks on the next mission. It's just a bit of backstory and law. So on this mission looks like we're escorting the sensor servitor. Got to get it into a position. All these missions, it gives you a, an objective. You've got to deploy something or, or escort something. You, you never see what that objective is. You never see the unit you're escorting or, or deploying. I 
Alright, the winds of change. So let's just have a little look at the layout here. So we've got a one a one diamond room, the main mission. We've got a glyph room. Have some normal rooms. So let's have a quick count. There's one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. So you always really want to try and take the shortest possible route so you don't get extra awakening levels. So, some kind of map room up ahead. This chamber's walls are covered in elaborate star charts, covered in extensive annotations in the Necron language, suggesting they record journeys among the stars. So, interest, take picked captures of the star maps and move prove informative. Iconoclasm, destroy them. Our purpose is to purify the tomb and the works of the aliens should not be suffered to exist. Ignorance, ignore them. The intellectual pursuits of Necrons are no interest to us. We must make haste. So, I prefer to try and learn if we can. Hey, Vardex is happy. We're gonna get, hey, two cognition points. That's gonna be handy. Nice some miasma of fumes from the Xenos machinery in this area is masking the servitor's sacred incense. Purge the corruption with prayer, like that ever works. Scour the corruption with flame. Power through, live with miasma's presence. Now nah, let's let's burn it. Let's give us some flames. Ardix is happy, he does again. He likes a good bit of flame action. So, at this point, we can either go straight in for the battle. I could be cheeky and cry and grab some more Blackstone. And I think I'm actually going to be cheeky and just see if we can get off this glyph. We're going to get an extra one on the awakening level. Or an extra two. But we could possibly get some Blackstone. Let's go this one. Oh, no. We've got some HP that we didn't need. So, after you've already been to a room, if you're coming back to a room you've already been to, you don't actually go up more on the awakening level. So you can retrace your steps, and it doesn't cost you anything. Let's get to it. Just for one fodder in. Try and keep our cog points. Get me straight into a good kind of fodder position. There you go, he's already doing his job. Alright, so we are gonna lose one by getting into this spot. I think it's worth it to get that early scanning. Can we... No, everyone's out of range, so let's just have a quick little slash on that. Now we can move forward after that. I think we're going to hold fire though. We're going to play it safe. Beyond Mr. Fodder. He served his purpose. Good job, Servitor. I think we're going to be out of range. Yep. I've got all four of our cog points, so. So let's blast ourselves into some action. Shooting the blast is free. So you always want to have a pop of that, even if it is just to reveal the stats up. And then again, I get him in there for the combat. I'm going to collect an extra CP point before I forget. Because he's got the energy armor. 
And we're going with the physical attack, so the orange against the blue. We should fare pretty good. Not bad. A cheeky gun barrel sticking out there. We are going to get him in. And what we're going to do is we're going to put him right in here, right next to these two guys. Which means if either of those two want to make a move, they've got to walk away from him and trigger an opportunity attack. A bit like what happened here. All the way up there into the blue. I think we're going to try and blow that up and then we're getting with the um, melee attack. So that's going to knock that down. Nice. Oh, not enough points. Oh well. So I can't attack him. I'm using my points up. But both of these two are locked into melee combat. So when either of them try and move, they're going to get hit by both of us because you get connected diagonally as well. So that's almost like two free shots on that guy. And the same happen. Oh, no. Of course, you only get one shot at the opportunity attack. Every day is a school day. I'm just going to get in and hit him. So he's got the energy armor, that energy blast wasn't really going to do much. Now if it was just these three guys on the table, I probably would have left him there. Got him up there to attack these guys, but there is this other one down here that we've got to think about. I think we'll get this guy going straight down here, to be honest. I'll make an interesting play here. Have one of them on a swan. So we're gonna get the black stone. We've got no attacks left, so we're just gonna get that on there. Now that platform is gonna move down here. It's gonna move us close to this unit we need to get to. Emo is walking away. Now, I know that one is already injured, so let's try and take that one down. No such luck. Now, we've only got the one. We're not going to use it this time on getting another servitor in. Cool, he's a tough cookie. Okay. Get another cog point. Yeah, just leave him there. In case he tries to move, which he just has. Get out, sir. It's a bit of again. Thank you. Cool. So this really saved us here. Exact goal was going to have to walk all the way down around there. So we've really saved ourselves a little bit of the journey. Let's see what stats he's got. Yeah, so he's got the energy armor. So we didn't do any damage, but we at least know what armor he's got now. At least oh, I should have stopped there, shouldn't I? There we go. Learn not what to do. Gonna need as many of these cog points as we can now to get the other other tech priest down and in the battle. Get 
going to save our points again. Now, is this guy going to die on us quick? No. Going to be on him for another turn. Oh, no, there we go. Opportunity attacked on it. Again, it's not worth wasting the shot on him, even though it's a free shot, it's not going to do any damage. So just get no other axe and chop him up. The sensor servitor reaches a location where the air currents through the tomb will take its sacred exudations to every corner of the tomb. The cohort guards it until its incense is fully deployed and can escort it back to the tomb entrance. Pretty untold. So again, we lost some points. Our tech priest a bit injured. Can't help that yet. However, one of our unlocks is this Coratio Claw. So we'll be able to plunk that on them soon. Hey, we've got another canticle. Brilliant. Next physical attack will deal plus six physical damage. So that's a little bit of an upgrade on the one we've got already. So there we go, guys. Uh, I think we're going to leave it there because I think if I do another one it's going to be about another 20 minutes and you're looking at like a 45 minute video. Don't know if that sort of thing you guys are going to want to be watching. So we're going to do one mission at a time for now. Um, any comments, criticisms, feedback, much appreciated guys. Um, we're really new to this so we're learning every day. Any help and feedback would be really cool. Let us know if you like the short episodes, whether you'd like me to double up on some of the missions, do some longer ones. Um, let us know what you think about Admech. Is it a game you have played? Do you do play? Do you like it? Do you like the look of it? Let's uh, try and spark some conversation up. Um, in the meantime, take care everyone. I have, hope you have a good day. And I'll catch you tomorrow for the next one. Take care.